Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're here to look at Sunday's card. We got 11 races on tap. We have the sweetest chant, $100,000 on the turf in just a little while. But first, let's look at those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, the turf course firm. Our first race, six furlongs on that fast main track. It's a maiden claiming event for maiden four-year-olds and upward. We have nine runners going to the post. The off-time favorite, number seven, blockade runner. They're off. Rontos Code started well and has hustled out of there to take the early lead. Song for Chris Mike is away second. Then Ray of Light third to the outside. At the rail, it's running alone in fourth. Royal Gallant follows in fifth, five lengths off the lead early. And then it's back to Blockade Runner as they move up the back stretch. Optionality is third last early. Ahead of Dark Winter and Ride a Song is at the back of the field. Moving into the turn and Song for Chris Mike has opened up here to a four length lead at 35 to one. Ran 22 flat for the opening quarter mile. Ronto's Code is in second, about to be joined by Ray of Light on the outside. And now Ray of Light is clearly second and setting sail for Song for Chris Mike. And Ray of Light just moves right alongside and right on by. Ray of Light to the front, opening up three. Song for Chris Mike laboring, then Ronto's Code to the inside. Farther out, Optionality's getting going, and then it's Royal Gallant. Final furlong, Ray of Light, still four in front. Then Optionality into second. Then Royal Gallant in third. Ray of Light, Optionality closing the gap with every stride. It's going to be close. Can Optionality get there? Very close. Maybe Ray of Light. Optionality there as well. Then Royal Gallant and Ronto's Code. Number eight, Ray of Light gets the photo and pays $33.80 to win. Owned by Howard Walt and trained by John Mateen. Leading the victory today by Luis Contreras. The second race, continuing the sprint on the main track at six furlongs. It's an allowance optional claimer for Phillies and Mares, four-year-olds and up. Scratch, number six, Celebrity Star. They're off. A smart start for the favorite highest maintenance. Whole lot of royalty is sent up after her. These two gonna speed off from the others, opening up three lengths and going quickly. And then it's Big Belief, Currency Union. They're side by side and Wild Kira, the long shot is last, dropping off 10 lengths from these dueling leaders. Highest maintenance and whole lot of royalty. Keeping her honest early, they went 21 and three for the first quarter and now they're side by side on the lead. They're really going at it. Three lengths to Big Belief and then Currency Union and Wild Kira still way out of it. Around the far turn, highest maintenance and whole lot of royalty and they are noses apart as they come toward the quarter pole. And now Big Belief is starting to gain some ground and Currency Union's in it too. After a 44 and two half mile, they're into the stretch. Highest maintenance and whole lot of royalty still locked in battle. Big Belief with a shot on the outside. Farther out, Currency Union. Now a whole lot of royalties taking the lead and highest maintenance gave way. Whole lot of royalty in front. Currency Union into second, closing the gap on the outside. Whole lot of royalty. Over Currency Union, Big Belief third, and then highest maintenance fourth. Number five, whole lot of royalty. Dudes early and holds on late to winner for owner Frank Carl Calabrese, trained by Kirk Zadie, ridden to victory today by Paco Lopez. We'll take a short break, be back for the third race in just a minute. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet. Your way to play. OBS, the two-year-old source to the world in 2013. With undefeated juvenile champion Asia Express drawing high praise in Japan. Two-time Breeders' Cup champion Secret Circle. And Breeders' Cup third mile winner Golden Sense in North America. Make plans to find your next champion at OBS two-year-old sales in 2014. OBS, we measure success by performance. 
The third race, five and a half furlongs. It's a maiden claimer for maiden Philly three-year-olds. Six runners in the field, no scratches, no jockey changes to report. They're off. Siren Secret started well and goes out to the early lead with Contrail. These two with the most early speed and double interest is out running in third. Dunn Shuckland, fourth on the outside, then Kiki's Tony and Jamie's Catch is at the back of the field, six lengths off the lead. Up front, it is Siren Secret and Contrail locked in battle and just to the outside of them, double interest. Dunn Shuckland, fourth to the outside, two lengths off the lead, just ahead of Kiki's Tony and then comes Jamie's Catch at the back and they went 22 and three for the first quarter mile. It is is Siren Secret and Luis Saez a neck in front as they round the far turn. Contrail hangs in there second by two. And then it's double interest in third. Dunn Shocklands on the far outside. Work to do. Four lengths off the lead. Then Kiki's Tony and they're into the stretch and it's Siren Secret. Siren Secret in front. Contrail to the inside. Kiki's Tony has emerged into third. Siren Secret down to the 16th pole trying to put away Contrail and Kiki's Tony and Jamie's Catch is making progress late on the far outside, but Siren Secret holds on to win. Close for second, maybe Kiki's Tony over Contrail. Jamie's catch was for it. Number four, Siren's Secret wins it for Sano Racing Stable, trained by Antonio Sano, and ridden the victory today by Luis Saez. Fourth race, seven and a half furlongs on the firm turf course. It's a maiden claiming event for maiden fillies and mares. Four year olds and up. Ten runners going post with the off time favorite number nine, Lloyd Arbor. They're off. Kingdom's Crown came out of there quickly and takes the early lead. Lloyd Harbour is away running in second to the outside and Calm Reply is third as they race for the turn. In behind them is Amber Morning, My Wonder Baby, and way out there going very wide on that first turn was Think Verde. Think Verde bolted on the first turn. The leader is Kingdom's Crown. Kingdom's Crown a length and a half. Lloyd Harbour running in second. Calm reply third to the inside. Andrea goes up in fourth. And then it's My Wonder Baby followed by Amber Morning. Break of another two to Bellatara who moves up alongside of My Cousin Faye. After that, it's weather permitting, and now Think Verde is last. 24 and 2 was the opening quarter mile for Kingdom's Crown and Luis Contreras, and they're a length in front of Lloyd Harbour. Calm reply third to the inside. Andrea follows in fourth. Then it's Amber Morning and My Cousin Faye to the inside. They're followed by My Wonder Baby. Outside Bellatara's next, and in behind them is weather permitting. Think Verde is at the back after a 49 and 2 half mile. Around the far turn, it is Kingdom's Crown. Crown, a half length in front. Adria, second now on the outside. And then it's Lloyd Harbour ridden along to keep up in third. Calm reply, fourth, cutting the corner. And then Amber Morning on the far outside and Bella Tara, they're into the stretch. And Kingdom's Crown's got a three length lead over Adria. Lloyd Harbour is next. Up the rail is Calm reply and Amber Morning on the far outside, but it's Kingdom's Crown. Kingdom's Crown coming home a winner to beat Calm Reply by three on the wire. Lloyd Harper was third and Amber Morning was fourth. Number two, Kingdom Crown wins it for Northwest Stud Stables and pays $17 to win. Trained by Gia Zeppi Ayasadernia, ridden the victory today by Luis Contreras' his second win on the card. The fifth race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf, a claiming event for four-year-olds and up. Scratch the two, cars and trucks, a couple of jockey changes. On the one, it's Jermaine Bridgman on number 13. Make the ride at Jonathan Gonzalez. They're off. Good start. Hopefully Lucky is sent out to take the lead with Ali Cantino from the inside and moving up between horses is Bergerac with early speed as well. And Mama's Happy is right up there in that mix along with Thundering Waters while Sailor's Creek sits just off of them and is just a little bit wide into that turn. Six lengths off the lead is the favorite Sailor's Creek early. And then Dynamic Boy to the inside. My Sunny Boy next by two and then Vanquisher. He's Hollywood. And the last two are Kentucky Hero and Rattlesnake Red. 23 flat.
was the opening quarter mile as Bergerac and hopefully Lucky set an honest pace here. They're four lengths ahead of a well-held Ali Cantino who sits third by a length and a half. Then Thundering Waters moving up with Mama's Happy who's in tight quarters there and steadied midway up the back stretch. Sailor's Creek is in behind them. And Sailor's Creek still about seven behind at this stage and then My Sunny Boy, Vanquisher, Dynamic Boy to the inside. He's Hollywood is next. Kentucky Hero and Rattlesnake Red. 46 and two for a half mile and they're moving into the far turn. Bergerac the leader. Hopefully lucky. Ali Cantino is moving now and Sailor's Creek is on the charge as well. Thundering Waters trapped in behind. Horses getting shuffled back. My Sunny Boy is next and then comes Mama's Happy trying to stay in it after steadying earlier. They're coming to the top of the stretch and Sailor's Creek makes a run for the lead. Sailor's Creek is taken over at the head of the lane. My Sunny Boy second to the outside. Then Ali Cantino in between horses Thundering Waters and Vanquisher is finishing well on the far outside. Sailor's Creek's got the lead though and is clear as they come down to the finish and Javier Castellano and Sailor's Creek will come home a winner. Thundering Waters second and then Vanquisher and My Sunny Boy. It's number 11 Sailor's Creek owned by our leading owners Kent and Sarah Ramsey trained by Mike Maker ridden a victory today by Javier Castellano. We'll take a short break and be back for the sixth race in just a minute or so. What a thriller in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Fort Lauderdale digs deep. Mucho Macho Man, it's nose and nose to the wire. Fort Lauderdale has won it. But it is all Fort Lauderdale. He went clear at the start. He was clear down the back. And he's coming home, turning handsprings. Fort Lauderdale, brilliant in the Stephen Foster. Fort Lauderdale, new for 2014 at Adina Springs. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Basilou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Basilou Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. The sixth race, seven and a half furlongs on the turf. It's a claiming event for four-year-olds and up. We have a full field of 11 runners, and the off-time favorite was the number five, key to power. They're off. And Ed Owl goes off to take the early lead. Macho coaches away well with speed, and then comes Hobo Ridge from the inside. These three are away the best as they move for the turn. It's time to laugh. Came out running in fourth. Holy Smoke is fifth, and just a little bit wide on that turn. And then comes Straight Town, followed by Key to Power, and tap its brew to the inside. Break of another two back to Dreaming of Danny, who races just to the inside of Midnight Notes. At the back of the field, it's Lonesome Street, who's 13 lengths off the lead as the field Runs onto the back stretch where Ed Al and Paco Lopez complete a quarter in 23 seconds flat. They're out there by two and a half. Macho Coach second by two. Hobo Ridge third edging up now. And then comes Holy Smoke fourth on the outside. It's time to laugh in behind them. And then comes Key to Power. Midnight Notes and Straight Town after that. Tappets Brew is on the inside with eight lengths to make up. Dreaming of Danny and Lonesome Street. 46 and four for the first half mile. Ed Owl still clinging to the lead. Macho Coach right up alongside. A couple of long shots, noses apart on the front end. And then it's Hobo Ridge. Holy Smoke on the far outside. Key to Power is right in there as well. And on the far outside, Dreaming of Danny is getting going. And as is Lonesome Street, who's on the far outside, Key to Power is taking the lead. On the outside, Dreaming of Danny. Midnight Notes, Lonesome Street on the far outside. It is Key to Power reaching for the wire. Key to Power holding on. From Midnight Notes, streaming of Danny and Lonesome Street. Nice performance by the favorite number five, Key to Power, owned by Pam and Martin Weigard, trained by Billy Mott, winning the victory today by Jose Lescano. The seventh race, back on a fast main track, it's a one-turn mile claiming event for four-year-olds and up with seven runners going to the post. The off-time favorite, the inside horse, number one, Super Doc.
they're off. And off to an even beginning, Gojo Go with some speed. To the outside, on with a show. Fleet Magic on the far outside. Running Wildcat is close up to, and in behind them, Grass Blade, and then Super Doc and Moonstock as the field races out of the chute. Tightly packed on the front end, it's Gojo Go, the leader. Grass Blade through on the inside to put on some pressure. As they continue the run up the back stretch, then on with the show and running Wildcat. That first quarter in 23 and 3. Break of three, back to Super Doc, inside of Moonstock, and a Fleet Magic right alongside of them. Five lengths separates the entire field. Go, Joe, go. On the outside, Grass Blade along the rail. They vie for command. And on with the show is right behind them, running in third, past the half mile pole. And then it's running Wildcat in fourth, a 46 and 2 half mile. And then Moonstock, who's underway on the far outside of Fleet Magic, and Super Doc is near the back of the field. Five lengths off the lead, around the far turn. It's Grass Blade on the inside. Go, Joe, go, right alongside. These two head and head, and on with a show is dead even with them three wide. In behind the leaders, running Wildcat. Now Super Doc has been guided to the far outside for a four wide run, but has work to do. Super Doc is starting to put in a run on the far outside. It is Grass Blade, go, Joe, go. Super Doc charging on the outside. On with a show, running Wildcat behind them. It's go, Joe, go. Super Doc and Grass Blade down to the wire, and Super Doc gets up. Over Grass Blade and go, Joe, go, and then running Wildcat. Number one, Super Doc scores for Northwest Stud Stables, trained by Giuseppe Isidernia, written a victory today by Apprentice Dylan Davis. We're on the firm turf course for our eighth race, one mile and one eighth. It's for mating three-year-olds, the off-time favorite, number two, Notability. They're off. Edison on the inside out well. Notability has speed two and then four more to the outside. They're clear from Dreamin' of Betty, who sits in fourth early, five and a half lengths off the lead. Then back to Danzig Storm, Jigsaw to the outside of Hines, and then comes Golden Rum. The trailer is VE Day as Edison leads the way on the first turn. Edison the leader by a half a length. Notability on the outside, second. They ran the quarter in 23 and three-fifth seconds. Four more is in third, four lengths off the lead and three and a half clear of Dreamin' of Betty. And then comes Jigsaw to the outside. And they're being followed by Danzig Storm. In behind them, Golden Rum is next. At the back are Hines and V.E. Day. 23 and 3 was the opening quarter for Edison, prompted by notability on the outside. These two complete a 47 and 4 half mile, and they are way clear of the others. They've got 10 lengths now on the rest of the field. Four more is in third, and then Jigsaw, Dreamin' of Betty, followed by Danzig Storm on the inside. Round the far turn, still Edison trying to put away Notability. They went three quarters in 111 and four. Notability runs at Edison on the outside, and they're still about eight lengths ahead of the rest. Four more is in third at this stage. The whips out on Jigsaw, the others with work to do, and two horses to catch, Edison and Notability, and they continue to go at it. Still well clear of the others. Edison keeps on battling for the lead, and it looks like Edison's got it here from Notability. Trying to close the gap is four more on the inside but Edison's got it. Edison and Luis Saez pulling away down to the wire. Four more is going to be second, and then came Notability and a late closing Hines. Number one, Edison lights it up in the stretch, owned by Mrs. John Magna, Michael Tabor, and Derek Smith, trained by Todd Fletcher, ridden to victory today by Luis Saez. The ninth race, the one mile 20 second running of the Swedish chant, $100,000 guaranteed firm turf course for a three year old of Phillies. Racing in the Swedish chant. Party now had a very good beginning. Ready to act is up and on the pace, but taken back on the inside. And then Lemon Point, who moves up outside into second. 
And they're being followed by Room Service in fourth as they race for the turn, then Super Fantasy to the outside. Jerry Love is down at the rail, racing five lengths off the lead, just ahead of Duff One, and the trailer is Hardly. So they make their way toward the back stretch, where Party Now and Joe Rocco Jr. have established the pace, and they're in front by a length and a half. Lemon Point second, ready to act, tucked in third to the inside. 24 and four was the first quarter. Room Service is in fourth, four lengths off the lead at this stage. Then Super Fantasy, Jerry Love to the inside, followed by Duff One and Hardly, who are right together at the back of the field, continuing their run up the back stretch. Party Now leads by a length and a half. Lemon Point is second, ready to act third, now guided to the outside with Jerry Love sitting on the rail in fourth into the turn, then Super Fantasy and Room Service, followed by Duff One and Hartley. 49 and one for a half around the far turn, party now, taken on up front by Lemon Point and ready to act three wide. Right in behind them is Jerry Love, Room Service is there, and Duff One is moving on the far outside and they're into the stretch, and it is Lemon Point, party now to the inside and ready to act, ready to act on the outside. Party now continues to battle at the rail. It's now ready to act on the inside. Party now, ready to act, got it from Party now, ready to act, wins the sweetest chant. Party now was second, then room service, and hardly. Number one, ready to act, wins it over a very game party now. Ready to act, owned by Claridge Stables and William Lawrence, trained by Chad Brown, and ridden to victory today by Javier Castellano. We'll take a short break and be back for the late Daily Double. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet. Your way to play. If you've got your crew in Miller Lite, you've got Miller time. It's Miller time! But what if one of your crew is Ken Jung? <laughs> Zoink! What's with the pig? Wait. No way! Did you teach him that? <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm late. I came straight from work. Man, this line's ridiculous. That's a joke. Ken! I'm that guy from that thing! Oh. Give me one! Miller Lite. Man, that was a... Hey, wait! It's not just a good time. It's Miller time. Welcome back for the 10th race of Six Furlong Sprints, a claiming event. Phillies and Mayors, four-year-olds and up. They're running for an $8,000 tag. No scratches or jockey changes to report. They're off. Pompous Miss out for the lead. Pompous Miss opens up early to a length and a half advantage. Dreamcastle came out running in second. As the field moves up the backstretch, Ed Melior is on the far outside. Wonderfleece right up there, too, racing in between horses. Now Dreamcastle is down on the inside as they continue their run up the backstretch. The leader is Pompous Miss. Pompous Miss on top through an opening quarter mile that goes in 22 and 3 fifth seconds. Ad Meliora second to the outside. Wonderfully follows in third as they round the far turn and then one wild kitty. Dream Castle to the inside. Josh's Butter butter has got five lengths to make up. New Englander circles up on the far outside and then it's Dublin's Diamond followed by La Stupenda and Kawaguchi. They're coming toward the top of the stretch. It's been Paco Lopez and Pompous Miss all the way so far. Turning for home a length in front. Wonderfully attacks on the outside second and then it's Josh's Butta Butta starting to pick it up in third. They have Pompous Miss to catch. Pompous Miss right on the rail. Wonderfully, Josh's Butta Butta. One wild kitty on the far outside, but it's Pompous Miss. Pompous Miss never looks back. Wins by two and a half. Wonderfully was second, and then Josh's Butta Butta and one wild kitty. Number four, Pompous Miss takes him wide a wire for owners NTS Stable Incorporated, trained by Milt Wilson. Neck is jockey Paco Lopez. His second win on the card. The 11th and final race, seven and a half furlongs on the turf. It's an allowance optional claimer for four year olds and upward scratch the two at large. The six, Dr. Chase. The seven, Good Tickle. And Sinatra is a gelding. They're off. 
Sinatra and Steel Guitar out for the lead together. Stall walking, dude goes up after them on the outside, and then it's Banzai Charge who gets into the mix in fourth, two lengths off the lead. Then back to Shatak and El Jefe Grande to the inside, and then Happy Fella to the outside of them. Green Grass of Wyoming is last, nine lengths off the lead as Stall walking, dude is sent out to take the lead. And going right with Stall walking, dude is Sinatra. And Steel Guitar will sit off of them two lengths from the front as they go to the back stretch. That opening quarter went in 23 and 1. It's a six length separation now back to Bonsai Charge, who's in fourth. And they're followed by Happy Fella. In behind them, Shatak, who steadied. Then Green Grass of Wyoming and El Jefe Grande is last. Three of them up top, and they're well clear of the others. It's Sinatra to the inside, alongside of Stallwalk and Dude and Steel Guitar just off of them. 46 and 4 for a half mile. Still six or seven lengths gap back to Bonsai Charge, who's starting to pick it up from fourth. And then it's Happy Fellish Atak, Green Grass of Wyoming, and El Jefe Grande is at the back as they arrive at the top of the stretch. Stallwalk and Dude, Sinatra to the inside. Outside of them, Steel Guitar, the pack's closing in now, and Bonsai. Bonsai Charge runs up into second. Bonsai Charge is heading up after front running Sinatra. Shatak is finishing fast on the far outside. Sinatra to catch. Bonsai Charge coming. Shatak on the far outside. Sinatra, Bonsai Charge, Bonsai Charge. Then Sinatra, followed by Shatak, El Jefe Grande, and happy fella. Number 10, Banzai Charge lives up to his name and charges through the stretch to win it for Northwest Stud Stables. Trained by Giuseppe Isidernia, ridden the victory today by Paco Lopez. His third victory on the card. The pick four, 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 five, eleven, oh, five. The pick five, five, oh, five, one thousand seventy four dollars, sixty cents, four or five, sixteen dollars. Even the pick six, six of six, a couple of tickets, three thousand ninety eight dollars, twenty eight cents. Huge carryover going into Wednesday, $220,148. And here are today's claims. And that wraps up Sunday's action. Remember, we're dark for live racing on Monday and Tuesday, but we'll be back with 10 exciting races on Wednesday. And always remember, Gulfstream always open for slots, simulcasting, great food, and great fun. Good night and good luck.